Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to lock individual cells for editing in Excel. So here we have a quote sheet that your team or coworkers might be filling out and we only want them to be able to edit specific cells in this sheet. Some of the cells contain formulas and we don't want them to accidentally delete these cells or edit them. And this is actually a two-step process in Excel. The first step is that we're going to lock or unlock individual cells and then we are going to protect the worksheet. So we'll first take a look at this cell here. It does contain a formula, so we wanna make sure this cell is locked. So we're going to right click the cell and choose Format Cells. And that will bring up the Format Cells window. And on the Protection tab here, we have a checkbox that says Locked. So this means this cell is locked. Now it also notes down here that locking cells or hiding formulas has no effect until you protect the worksheet. So that's gonna be step two. So for now, this is fine. This cell is locked. You might wanna check the other cells that contain formulas to make sure those are locked. But by default, all cells within Excel will be locked. This checkbox will be checked for all cells in Excel. So we'll go ahead and hit OK here. And what that means is that we need to unlock the cells that we want the user to be able to edit. So this range here, we can also select multiple cells. We'll select this range here. We want the user to be able to edit this and input into these cells. So we can just right click this, again choose Format Cells. And here on the Protection tab, we want to uncheck the box, the locked box. So now these cells are unlocked. And we'll go ahead and hit OK here. And then you'd want to repeat that process for the other cells on the sheet that you want the user to be able to edit. And once you've done all that, we'll move to step two, which is protecting the sheet. So to do that, we can just right click on the sheet tab down here, and then we'll choose protect sheet. And that will open up this window where we can uh, insert a password. This is optional. You can also leave this blank. I'll go ahead and add a password for now so you can see how that works. Just going to add one, two, three there. We wanna leave this checked, this is to protect the worksheet. And then we have some options down here on what the user can do with this worksheet. Now by default, these two top uh, check boxes here are checked, allows the user to select locked cells and also select the unlocked cells. So we'll just leave that as is for now and we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then uh, because we entered a password, we're also gonna be prompted to confirm our password and re-enter it. So I'll just enter one, two, three again. You can make the password whatever you'd like and then hit OK. So the sheet is now protected. Uh, the unlocked cells we can still edit. So I can select this cell here. Maybe this should be 35 instead. I'll change that and hit enter. That all works. If I go over to this cell here that's locked and I try and edit that, I'll just uh, hit any key on the keyboard. You can see that the, we get a warning here that says the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. And then it gives you instructions on how to unprotect it and change it. So we can go ahead and hit OK there. And this will just let the user know that they cannot edit these locked cells. Now, when you do want to make changes to the sheet, they'll just unprotect it. So again, right click the sheet tab and go to unprotect sheet. Since we entered a password, we're going to be prompted for that password. If you leave the password field blank initially, then you will not see this box. But I'll go ahead and enter our password and hit OK. And now the uh, sheet is unprotected. And again, we can go here. Uh, we could edit this formula or edit this cell that contains a formula and do all kinds of changes to the sheet. If you're enjoying this video, please click that big red subscribe button below the video to subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell icon there to get notified when new videos are published. So that's the basics of locking and unlocking cells, but I do want to leave you with three bonus tips that should help make this process a little easier. So the first is that we're going to uh, go down here, right click on the tab again and protect sheet. And here in our options, we have this option to select locked cells. I'm going to uncheck this so the user will not be able to select the locked cells. Then go ahead and hit OK. Uh, this time I will not add a password, so we'll just leave that blank. We'll hit OK here. So the sheet is now protected. And if I try and uh, click this cell right here, select this cell, I can't select it. So this just makes it easier for the user to input data because they will only be able to select the cells that are unlocked. And so if I'm just going through this line here, I'm right arrowing, inputting data, or hitting tab on the keyboard. When I get to this cell here and I hit right arrow or tab, it now 
jumps down to the next unlock cell. So again, that just makes it a little easier for the user to input their data. They don't really need to see these cells or select these cells that contain the formulas anyway. And the sheet can also be protected and unprotected from the review tab on the ribbon up here. We can see it right here. So the sheet's currently protected and we can just click this button here to unprotect the sheet. And then the button text will change back to protect sheet. And that leads to my next tip about the lock button. Uh, the lock button, we got to it from the right click menu here, going right click format cells. Keyboard shortcut for this uh, window is control one on the keyboard, but we can also get to this from the home tab on the ribbon. So home tab here in this format dropdown, you'll see we have a lock cell button right here. So we can click this and if we click that, that'll lock this cell. And again, we go home tab, uh, format cells. We'll now see that that uh, button is enabled there. There's a gray box around it and that lets us know that the cell is locked. Now we can also add this button to the quick access toolbar. So if I just right click the button here and choose add to quick access toolbar, that will put the button right up here in my quick access toolbar. And again, when I select any cell, I can then see it's locked or unlocked state. So I'll select this cell here. We can see that that's enabled. You can see kind of the dark green there means that cell's locked. If we select this cell here, uh, it's no longer enabled. Uh, there's no dark green around it. And that means that cell is unlocked. So if you're going through your sheet and locking and unlocking cells, that just makes it a lot easier. I can just select this range of cells here. Uh, you can see it's locked. So I'll just quickly quick click that button there. And now those cells are unlocked. And then my final tip is to change the formatting of the locked or unlocked cells. So this quote sheet does a fairly good job of that. We can see that the locked cells here, the ones that contain formulas, do have this light gray fill color. So that lets us know and lets the user know that these cells might potentially be locked and they do not need to edit them. And if you're wondering where I got this quote sheet from, this is actually in the template library. If you go file tab and then new, uh, here you can just search for templates. I just searched for quote, hit enter, and you can uh, see just a few different quote sheets here. I believe I chose this one. Just select that and hit create. And that will create a new file here with a blank quote sheet. You can go set it up with the uh, locking and unlocking and protect it and set it up for your company. And then you'll be good to go and you don't have to recreate this entire sheet. So I hope those tips help you. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.